Well, Dan just told me he filmed absolutely nothing today, so... Yeah, what do you want me to talk about? Are you sitting here with my thumb in my ass? I just got home from work, and this is dinner, which is... Uh, is this au gratin or scalped? What do we do about it? Scalped. And the hot and spicy buffalo cauliflower and chicken breast. Yeah, but I mean, how do we reverse yeah, nasty stuff. No, I like it. No, it's nasty. No, it's not. Anybody that would eat nasty fucking cauliflower like that, it's just not normal. It's good. No, it's fucking nasty. It is not. It is too. And I guess we'll make this a two-day one because nobody filmed anything all day. Yeah, what do you want me to film? Me sitting here jacking off? No. Good morning, everybody. It's time to leave for work again. I close tonight, tomorrow, and then I work 10 to 6. And then I have three days off, and it's the dope concert with Tony in Flint. So, hey. what? It's time to leave for work. How come you haven't left yet? Because I just realized I didn't film yet today. Oh, well, yeah? Well, you better take it with you. No, I can't do that at work. Why not? Because they, they freak. Oh, like you? No. Yep. Will you vlog for them? Even if you just vlog like the bunny and the chickens and Tug and Sammy and the duck. I'm mean, sitting here picking hard chunkies out of my nose. Oh yeah. I'm waiting for mine. Whatever yours. Show them how you make meatloaf. It's a little different than most people. No, it's not. Don't tell them now. Well, I don't have crackers, so I'm gonna have to use cornflakes. That's fine. You use crackers, cornflakes. Where else you might got that might resemble it? Yeah. Pork. Come on, you're giving it all away now. Onions. Eggs. Yeah, well, there's one step that you do that most people don't, and I'm gonna stop filming now so you can't. All right, everybody. I'm gonna go out and feed and water the animals. I'm not gonna take the camera out because it's raining right now. It's raining pretty good, so I don't want the camera getting all wet. And I'm gonna collect up the eggs. I haven't done that yet today. It's getting to be that time to go out and feed and water the animals. So when I get back in, I'm going to start getting the meatloaf ready. So talk to you then. Okay, everybody. I've already been out and fed and watered all the animals. Sammy's got food and water, so I didn't put down food for him. But I, but I did give him some fresh water. Um, I'm standing here. I had cut up an onion and I weighed out one pound of uh, pork getting ready to make a uh, meatloaf and so I got one pound of pork here in a bowl um, these are hamburger packages here there's a half pound in each package and chopped up onion only half an onion the other half onion is there in the bowl I'm going to put the lid on it put it away and I'm going to use cornflakes because I don't have any crackers, which cornflakes are not wrong with using cornflakes. And some fresh farm eggs. I'm only going to use one. I'm just going to use the smallest one, one of the smallest, smaller ones here in the carton. So I'm going to use this one here. And then the rest of the eggs I can go ahead and put away. And the egg I just pulled out is from today. So it's, uh, I, I can't get any fresher of an egg than that, than what today's egg is. And then, and then you just, uh, mix it all up into one bowl and what I do is when I go to put it in the oven I use cast iron frying pans when I go to put it in the oven is what I do is um, I'll grease the pan which, which a lot of times uh, we don't grease the pans but the one I'm gonna be using got greased last time it got washed so it's not gonna stick but I'll put an extra little thin layer of uh, pan spray in there and I will preheat the oven to 350 degrees, let it warm up, and I'll put the pan in there, in the oven, let the pan heat up, and then once the pan's heated up, then I'll uh, drop the meatloaf mix into the pan and flatten it out, and I'll put it back in the oven until it is thoroughly cooked. And then I'll pull it out, and I'll put ketchup over top, which I usually like to use the Brooks ketchup, but... I can't never find it anymore, so uh, if you can use, find the Brooks ketchup, that's the best ketchup to use for the top, but that's if you only can find it, and if not, no big deal, just use whatever you got on hand. Um, other than that, I'm going to go ahead and get the mix made up and start preheating the oven and get a cast iron frying pan put in there. 
Okay, everybody. I had just gotten my mess cleaned up from mixing up the meat uh, meatloaf uh, mixture. Um, I just turned the oven on, and I had just like I said turned it on, and I dumped all the contents on the counter, mixed it up all in the counter because the bowl wasn't big enough. I'm gonna use the cutting board to leave on top of the bowl because we've got some flies lingering around here, and I don't want flies lingering around on the food. And I'm going to use a cast iron frying pan, and that's the cast iron frying pan I'm going to use. And I'm going to put it in the oven while the oven is preheating, and I'm figuring by the time the oven is completely preheated, the pan should be ready. Take it out, and then I'm going to pour the meatloaf contents into the pan, flatten it out, and put it back into the oven. Well everybody, um, I know that the pan is heated up, the oven is heated up. So I'm going to get the pan out and get the meatloaf put in. So I'm getting the pan out as we speak. Oh yeah, I can tell it's nice and warm. And I'm going to get the meatloaf put in it now. So that way we can get it in the oven. Oh yeah, nice and hot. And here it's sizzling. Careful not to touch the sides of the pan so you don't burn your fingers. Now it's time to get it put into the oven. I'm going to get my hand rinsed off first before I grab. A, I'm going to get my hand rinsed off first before I grab a hold of the hot pad to get the grease off of my hands. <coughs> but other than that, it's time to put it in the oven so that way it'll get done sooner. Okay, that's it for that, and I'm going to do up a couple of small squash that I harvested. Um, these ones didn't get very big, as you see, but it is ripe. They're, they're all ripe, ready to go. I'm going to do up these three here, so that way get all the smaller ones used up. They're ones from out in the outside that I planted this year. Um, we got some big ones too. Just wanted to get the smaller ones all used up and out of the way first. So here's the dinner Don left me. Squash, mashed potatoes, and meatloaf. Looks really good. And he's getting the wood stove ready to start a fire because the nights are really cold now here in Michigan. Oh, uh, you're loony. Uh-huh. I don't know how many years of X-Files they made, but you are constantly watching X-Files for months now. Uh, when does it end? Probably never. <laughs> and then this is a bag of hot dog, grilled hot dogs in buns, because at work they had the customer appreciation barbecue today, and there were some left over, so I brought those home to share with Don. And they're good quality ones. <clears throat> Not shitty ass uh, cheap ones. There they are. Nah. And this morning Sammy caught a mouse. And then he took the thing and hid it underneath my clothes by the dresser in the bedroom. So that was awesome. Picked up my clothes and there's a dead mouse. So yay. Are you going to do that again? I mean it's good that you're keeping the mice away, but why did you have to hide it under my clothes? I don't know. <laughs> Hey, don't take the camera. Did you vlog today? No. Nope. So we're going to say good night, and we hope that you enjoyed the, enjoyed the video, and that you like, subscribe, comment, share, and you're having a good night.
Don't lie to them. It's your turn. For what? To say goodnight. I don't say goodnights. I don't do that shit. So well, many good mornings. Well, alright. <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow.